what happened my junior year in high school okay so this is a very important you know thing literally this is spittle this is something i want to get out of there this is the ultimate version of flow the ultimate way off of playing off of establishment literally this is when the four in freshman year continues but it doesn't stop and it really gets live and irritating because what ends up happening is you end up playing off of this thing called establishment or it happens with establishment and somebody says that you have to do more so I'm not gonna say flip it first thing because I learned you know a certain formula that comes from the gang you know isn't the formula that you get at girls in high school but if you all know you know where it came to me and my mom in high school this is when I yelled at my mom the most this is when I was complaining about pussy the most literally it was my junior year in high school because you're not slow you've been living for over you know you have been living for over you know like 15 years now literally you're 15 turning 16 or you're 16 turning 17 you know and you're tired of doing the same old shit. You see how you're reading something instead of being overly understanding, like how I show you a fucking A and B and A, literally, and how I literally taught you know half the YouTube and half the fucking class of society, literally, about how to view things as a delicacy. Flow is viewing anything but things as a delicacy. It's literally playing off as establishment to the very most, literally. And you know the thing about flow in high school is you're playing off everything at the same time instead of being nitpicky. So junior year starts off like this, literally, I changed my wardrobe, literally, because I used to wear, you know, skinny jeans freshman year, and sophomore year, I wore baggy jeans a little bit. So when it came to, you know, um, junior year, I started, you know, doing things like wearing peer butter colored shirts that are collared, you know, I wore a striped, you know, peer butter shirt with um, green shiny pants that I got from Dee's. I wore things like beige, you know, um, playing shirts, you know, um, really good shows that, um, really good shirts that I'm playing off for establishment, like I had one pair of, you know, like an orange collar, I had, you know, um, an orange checkerboard collared shirt, and then literally I had some gray jeans, literally, and then I had some Converse on my feet, you know, so I was, you know, um, burning like gangsta, and I was doing really, and I was doing really good, because, um, that's playing off the establishment because, you know, um, I'm not, you know, walking around with full gang attire, you know, not full blue, not full red, etc. And, you know, I'm playing off the music on the radio, like there was one time in class with me and this guy, you know, sang Lil Rain Breakup. So, there's this Indian girl in my drama class named Deepa. In junior year, I wore graffiti, so everybody like her and Alex and R. Stern got me literally while I'm wearing graffiti. So junior year, I wore graffiti, which is how I was going to start off the video originally, and got all the way to a part where literally you start yelling at your mom every day, Mom! 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 Why don't people like me? Literally, when you wear graffiti. This is where I'm telling you where you have a big wake-up call, where it comes to life, or where it comes to people, because I ended up asking out deeper that year but somebody literally um took advantage took charge of the situation literally so this is when literally you win the outside but you lose on the inside but you lose on the inside for a good reason literally and so what your family you know says is that you're using the inside against them so it started off in the beginning of the year while I try to you know um go out for wrestling practice again literally while I tried to try out for wrestling practice again what ended up happening was this coach, Lily, who um, saw me side by side in a championship, Lily said, Lily, you have to be more responsible because it's your third year here. And I didn't have shoes, I didn't have wrestling shoes, but you know, I'm just playing off the stats, and I'm like, okay, Lily, I'm here. And provision is no exciting reason why I'm doing wrestling. Lily, I can't view wrestling as productive, which is mature is what my mom was trying to get me to recognize. And when you grow up, you recognize that you're doing wrestling with people. Now, we all know, Lily, how they try to take down my underwear, but that's when things get obvious, and that's a story for another time. Lily, we are playing off the establishment every single day. Lily, your mom is playing off the last thing you did, and she's playing with your subconscious. So if she tells you something, for 24 hours that's within the line of what you said to her and you do stop opposite and you start yelling you start complaining and you start stopping this he starts calling you a baby now i don't want you to make excuses like you wore graffiti and he's calling you a baby literally because the situation already escalated how did it get all the way to a point where it stabbed my arm literally while i have a scar on my arm i'm gonna tell you literally it's a very 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 tough you know um thing and it's a very very tough word out there literally to a point where you know you have to take charge of the situation in real life as an adult because this is junior year things are getting more complicated you're supposed to view things in three layers you know by junior year not just one and so i had the first layer covered with establishment but i'm not ready for that year to go in depth so they're calling out my dragon ball z by saying literally i'm doing good i'm playing off with establishment in the beginning 
But um, what happens if we're in private class and I ask you to speak Western? Literally. And so what happens if I complain to my mom and she says that you should have been reading books ever since you were young? So what ends up happening is, you know, a full-on Indian person asked me personally if, you know, um, not if, but it was definitely should, he said you should ask deeper out the homecoming. Literally. And so what ends up happening is I get excited and everything, literally, and then I start dancing in front of Deepa, you know? Literally. And so literally, I'm having moves like Chris Brown, literally. Moves are sexy as fuck, literally. And the reason why things are, you know, escalated to relationships, so I'm going to be very, very cruel when it comes to this video. If anybody saw the Mr. Popo video, that actually video. If anybody saw a video, that means the reason why I'm not getting a girlfriend in high school is because people are casual. How I'm coming at them is extreme. Oh, literally, I want to love you for the rest of my life. I want to do this and that. We're still just a little kid. Literally, and the whole two way to get girls, especially in real life, literally, is being casual. You have to flash you. You don't be a rapper, some of that, but you have to be an intellectual. And so, literally, I'm going to go later on to the video. The reason why I was yelling at my mom is why I'm not intellectually respected. I was not being intellectually respected, you know, back in high school. Literally, and what intellectual means versus intellect is literally intellectually means things are going to death and intellect is like literally a situation by itself and that's why my mom only supports intellectual things in the form of intellect but she doesn't support intellectual things all the way. What she does is she only supports situations that are based off intellect like playing sports. Literally we already know we're doing something good. Literally and she requires you know me to have a mentality that's based off intellect so I don't disturb no one. You have to understand that. So that's like saying, literally, I like you, but I don't actually like you for who you are. And that's where intellectual comes in. Because intellectual is when things go into detail. And intellect are like things like the air rail, the animation lap league, you know. The animation crap league, you know, things are lying, literally. Hiding behind, you know, a computer screen, literally. So not allowing things to go in depth. Not saying, you know, I have felt like Eminem my first match, literally. Not going into things like that. The intellect is literally your low tier. Intellectual is why. So what if you play off air like to say, yo, you've been low tier for 10 years, you're just making up excuses for yourself. So it goes on like this, when he recommends me to ask Deeper out for homecoming, literally, Mr. Pledger literally doesn't give me a proper warning saying don't do it. So don't blame Mr. Pledger anywhere, you know, anytime in this video, because what ends up happening is I get ready to ask her out, but then he asked her out on stage, literally, and he hit the drama class teacher, yo, they're both Indian, literally, we already knew he was about to do it, he was already discreet beforehand, literally, which things, you know, um, don't exist in the real world, but it is when things are far and along. So these are things that fall the lawn instead of, you know, calling out what's critical. Literally. So what ends up happening is I complain when I come home, you know, to Uncle Jay, aka Uncle Sully. He's like, oh, please, you're full of shit. Literally, you do they're both Indian. And that's why shit is very important. So, you know, what my family, you know, did was they broke down a complex situation down to a point where it was obvious. I'm here to remind you, literally, if you're dancing, literally, if you're having a fast day, if you're doing something in front of a girl, literally, it's not... About that it's about being casual and being casual will give you the opportunity to say yo there goes the door literally you have to say there goes the door woman you can't be desperate for one woman like Abby over and over again and then pretend to literally there goes the door which was my problem this is a big problem I had in high school literally I would have the attitude of there goes the door but in reality I'd be desperate to find one body and what would happen is if I would play off the status but literally and life like hmm I can't wait for that mixtape and fly life literally People like Chris would come back in sports like, please, literally, how you don't even know that literally I mixtape and playing basketball are heavily connected, literally, because you don't understand that beat literally of me bouncing a ball is the exact same way as me making a beat in real life, literally. Which was the last mixtape you listened to? And I'm saying mixtape based off flow, literally. I'm saying, yo, if you feel like it, literally, if we both listen to Lil Wayne break up, literally, I'm gonna say, literally, mixtape and fucking fly life and fucking feel myself and feel the flow, literally. What ended up happening, you know, since, you know, I was playing off with that aspect is Mr. Pledger, you know, didn't say and then go in depth that somebody took charge of the situation, literally, and my mom said the obvious of the situation based off her education, literally, you're a senior by now, literally, if you see repetitive action, you have to take extra initiative. All those games die out when you get older, it's about hope now, but what I achieved literally before Deeper was in my house every single day was phenomenal to a point where she was literally just a decibel to a point where girls like her, you know, fucking April, fucking, you know, um, Jennifer, she's around, or any girl from Washington, literally, are there with, you know, a staff or there for, you know, a capability, you know, time, literally, and that's what happens, you know, when you legitimately grow up, literally, you're not focused on them, the reason why, literally, you don't get women in high school is because you make them the main focus, literally, instead of pretending you have something better to 
do. Literally text her twerk for seven. Literally, you have to be like me and you, Gil, and actually have something better to do and leave her on red. Be more interested in the game than her, you know why it's an actual hobby. That's why I would already report to Mr. Pleasure, you know, my senior year to a girl. Literally, you know, everybody had their sights on. Everybody was fucking hitting on. Literally, that's because she's a girl, she's me, and she's around. Literally, it got down to a point where, like, um, Mr. Pleasure, Angie is photography. He's like, yeah, well, I see a whole lot of flaring back. You see how he and fucking mom, you know, fucking aligned with the same thing with a tree every single day. I'm giving you Abby fans no excuse because, literally, this is exactly why I had to fucking go through. Because if I would do something simple, they would call out something complex. They were complex with the history and growing up and actually saving enough money to get a car recognized when you're 17 and why you had to get closer to getting a car. And then later on you figure out that that's a stereotype. You have to close and turn the tide, but you don't have the tools to provide. And that's gonna leave you to a lot of cause and effect situations, literally. That's why the Indian guy did something obvious and he got away with it. Because you obviously had the advantage in the beginning. So later on, you gotta figure out if that's a gangster formula. So Uncle Sonny, you know, aka Uncle Jay, you know, um, who recently just passed away, RIP, Lily was looking at my outfits and then he was calling me a fruit. You know what a fruit means, right? Lily, a fruit means that you're morally gay. That means like you're actually fucking gay and shit. Lily, I'm like, Sonny, how are these clothes look? They look like a fruit on you. Lily. <laughs> I'm like, why, Lily, this and that, and what he's doing is he's telling you that your outfit is full of openings, like a fight, and they're attacking it, and you know, when they're attacking the rest, what they're saying is your outfit explains that you're not aware of the situation, he's calling me a fruit because he's saying my outfit means I'm not aware of the situation, that means my outfit means that I don't know that every action has a reaction, and that's why I didn't know how the Indian guy was going to react to me, you understand that, right? And I learned later to eliminate that problem, you have to wear, you know, basic name brands like, you know, Jordan and Nike. Like a Jordan jacket and an actual, you know, Nike, you know, um, boot that fits. Literally, have you ever been in the hood? Literally, what he's doing is, literally, I have a purple Stewie Griffin, you know, shirt on. Literally, with um, gray shiny jeans, literally, in Converse again. And he's calling me a fruit, you know, because, literally, I'm not aware of the situation. So what ends up happening with flow in situations like deep in the flow is so anyway, where it comes to Naruto, Lily, if we're on a Naruto cast member, Shippuden, because I only fuck with Shippuden and we grow up. I talk like this in high school. Shippuden is good. I grew up for Naruto. Lily, I did this and that. Lily, and then Lily, my brothers are like, <laughs> you didn't grow up for no one. Naruto's a fictional character. Ha ha, Lily spoke in Stogie and shit. If you don't know what Stogie means, Stogie means a cigarette. Flow is to be respected. But for this video, I'm showing, you know, your flow, you know, no excuses, because what ended up happening to me in junior year, even though I had a good reason to not keep wrestling because of hunger, and that's what things get obvious, you know, in the future, which is why she was a horrible parent. I ended up getting fat, Lily, so it ended up me smoking again, me not wrestling, Lily, and me falling to order criticism, like I wasn't being physically fit, and I'm complaining about trying to get bitches and shit, Lily, when wrestling would have been an activity, you know, so we already live with that gay, so you can't count that in, so Lily, so I'm getting high, I'm watching, you know, um, Naruto, Conan versus Toby, Lily, and, um, I'm gonna get the deepest favorite character in just a minute, Lily, and so what ends up happening is I recognize the fight scene, but I recognize it's doing nothing for me growing up, Lily, and that's a part of, you know, pattern recognition in the human brain so um literally i start to get depressed literally because doctor is my only thing left literally then they start calling me out for not being more the mid so you see what flow does is they allows the other person to counter you know with experience which is why dad's dad and dance in high school why isaiah had experience all right that's because he was part of an emo rock band himself all right so literally if you say something in terms of flow literally this is exactly how junior year rent literally I'm like, hey, you want to go to roundabout? And you're like, excuse me, you have to find your way around this situation. For other dark gamers, I'm giving you a big heads up because what ends up happening is you don't know the being of, you know, the Burry Mac show where it says big ass bite. Do you understand? So, we would be, you know, a character selection, you know, um, in a mainstream anime like Naruto or whatever. We're in Naruto, you know, Deepa had to pick a character. Her character would be Sai because I'm Sai in high school. Lily, I wore graffiti. Lily, I talked like I was a boss. I knew I was up. But I didn't play sports. And that's the reason why, you know, I wasn't really elaborate. Lily, so I have an entry fee. But, you know, people are breaking down. Lily, what's going to happen, you know, um, that there's not a lot to my character. There's not much to my character. And that is connected to self-loathing. And porn, porn does a lot for that. Lily, porn will give you the mindset, Lily, to be impatient where it comes to a girl and be impatient where it comes to things in general. It'll also give you a tool, Lily, to get those things like Lily, a good wardrobe that could get in her pants easily. And you know, people are gonna disagree with you on the outside saying that's not how life pans out.